We use quantum reinforcement learning and classical reinforcement learning to process laws of science and society. What is the difference between both forms of AI? How do the particular properties of quantum computing affect the domain knowledge? Reinforcement learning is reward-oriented. This is independent from the kind of computer we use. This is true for the quantum computer and also for the classical computer. The single agent that possesses multiple dimensions that work together acts to achieve a common goal and not just a single goal but also multiple partial goals. To receive a reward or to minimize the losses is the goal. A multi-skill neural net, that is a multi-level neural net, uses statistics to find the agent's strategies. The goal is to optimize the rewards. This is valid for the quantum AI process and also for the multi-level classical AI algorithm. There are also differences between the quantum and the classical algorithm. The quantum neural net for a single agent with multiple parallel dimensions processes the domain knowledge in a different way compared to a classical neural net. The quantum neural network uses the principles of quantum superposition and quantum information theory on each of the levels. In both nets, the classical neural net and the quantum neural net use optimization functions to optimize the values of the weights. For the classical neural net, several types of activation functions are known Finding a suitable activation function for a quantum neuron is not easy. It is not so easy to extend the sigmoid activation function across the complex plane. The structure of the domain knowledge also depends on the computer you use. It is different for the classical and the quantum computer. For example, you process the probability of the logical statement if p then q while well, the classical output of the neural net is either 0 or 1, the output of the quantum net can be 0 and 1 at the same time. The difference refers to probability, while the classical output of the neural net is either 0 or 1, the output of the quantum net can be 0 and 1 at the same time at least before it is measured. After the measurement, it is clear whether it is 0 or 1. This is the result of the superposition state of the qubits, a parallel technique that processes multiple skills on related levels of the reasoning net and algorithm, short RNA, combined with a multidimensional reinforcement learning technique, connects the levels and skills that work in a parallel way. Another difference refers to circuits. While the classical computer uses conventional circuits, the quantum computer uses oracles. Oracles are circuits that define the property of a function. Circuits transform the state of an input. Classical circuits are reversible. Quantum circuits are one-directional and they move from left to right. At the end of the circuit, we measure the state of the qubits. Quantum circuits consist of three elements. One element is the gate. Logical gates perform logical operations on the input and they are part of quantum circuits and also of classical circuits. They transform the state of the input. The quantum computer uses quantum gates called the Toffoli gate, the Pauli gate and the Hadamard gate. The classical computer uses OR gates, AND gates, SOR gates, NAND gates and so on. The quantum algorithm also consists of registers and these registers contain qubits. Circuits also consist of wires. wires are electrically conducting and they carry the signal between the gates and the registers. The classical bit P cannot be true or false at the same time. It can only be true or false. Therefore, the probability that P is true 
is 50% and the same applies to Q. In contrast, the state of the qubits can be true and false at the same time. And the state of superposition ends after we measure the state of the qubits. After the measurement, they are defined. The Hadamard gate is only available for qubits but not for classical bits. According to the Hadamard gate, the probability that P is true is 0 plus 1 divided by the square root of 2. The Hadamard gate affects the superposition.